all right everyone you're welcome back to this tutorial in this video we are going to talk about formation of differential equations how to form a differential equation so we are going to form a differential equation for each of these three equations that we have on the board all right let's start with the first one y equal to x plus a all over x now if i look at this equation i can see that there is one unknown a a is a constant and it's unknown. Since we have just one unknown in this equation, I'll differentiate this entire equation with transfer to x once. So differentiating with respect to x, let's take it dy dx is equal to differentiate x with transfer to x to get one. Okay. Now a all over x can be written as a x to the power of minus one yes okay so if i differentiate this now with transfer to x we we'll obtain minus a x to the power of what minus one minus one which will actually give us the y dx is equal to what one minus a x to the power of minus two okay let's call this equation one and let's call this equation 2. So what we'll do now is this. From this equation 2, we are going to make A the subject of the formula. And the resulting expression for A will be plugged into this equation for A. So this equation 2, we can write it as dy dx equal to 1 minus A all over what A squared. So let's take 1 to this other side. dy dx minus 1 is equal to minus a all over what s squared okay so this minus can actually come to the left hand side and if you come to this side we'll have this here become minus and here become a plus all right so we can now multiply both sides by s squared so as to take away this s squared from this right hand side and so if we do that we'll be having this s squared times everything here that's minus s squared into dy dx minus 1, okay, which is now equal to what? A. So this is A. Let's call this equation 3. What we'll do now is this. In place of A in this equation 1, we'll write everything here at the left hand side. So we're having y equal to x plus Let's put everything here for a. That will be minus x squared into dy dx minus 1 divided by what? x. Plus minus is actually minus. Okay, so we have y equal to x minus. This s, we take one of the x here. Here we have x squared. x squared divided by x is x. So we're having x into dy dx minus 1 okay so this is it y is equal to x let's multiply dy dx minus 1 by minus x so we have minus x times dy dx minus x dy dx minus x times minus 1 is plus what x so y is equal to this x plus x is 2x we have 2x then minus x dy dx okay so let us make dy dx the subject of the formula all right so we cross we have y minus 2x equal to minus x dy dx okay so this is it we, if we divide both sides by minus okay what will happen is this we have minus here and here we come what plus we now have x dy dx equal to what minus times y is minus y minus times minus 2x is plus 2x so that is plus 2x minus y so this is the differential equation that is formed from this very equation now we are done with this let us form a differential equation for this okay we have y equal to a s squared plus bx let's call it equation one 
In this case now, we have two constants, two unknown, A and B. So we are going to differentiate two times. That is, we are going to take the first and second derivative with respect to x respectively of this very equation. So the first derivative of y with respect to x, that's dy dx, will be equal to differentiate a x squared. A is a constant, so we have 2ax. Then differentiate bx, we obtain what? B. Let's call this equation 2. So let us take the second derivative of y with respect to x now. That's d squared y ds squared. So we're going to differentiate this now with transfer to x. Differentiate 2ax with transfer to x, we have 2a. And differentiate b with transfer to x, we have 0. Because b is a constant. And the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is equation 3. So what we have to do now is to make a and b the subject of the formula from these two equations. Okay? Now, from here, I can make A the subject of the formula. That is, A will be equal to, if I divide both sides by 2, I will have 1 half d squared y ds squared. Let's call this equation 4. So I've made A the subject of the formula here. Now, I want to make B the subject of the formula here. But there is a substitution that I will make first. I can see 2a here. Alright, and I can see 2a here. Here in equation 3, 2a is equal to d squared y ds squared. So in place of 2a here, I can write everything here. Alright, so this is it now. In place of 2a, I want to write d squared y ds squared. So dy dx is equal to there's x here so x times d square y ds squared then plus what plus b so i want to make b the subject of the formula now it's easy take away x d square y ds squared to the other side we have dy dx minus s d squared y ds squared equal to what b so let's call this equation five. So we have equations now for B and A. So all we have to do now is this. Plug this left-hand side for B in equation one. Plug this right-hand side for A in equation one. And then we we'll get the differential equation. So this is it now. Okay. Let's come here. We have this y is equal to in place of a now let's write half d squared y ds squared half d squared y ds squared okay we have times s squared here so i want to place the s squared here all right so you get the point because s squared times one half is actually s squared over two plus we have x then into b what's b this is b that's dy dx minus x d square y ds squared s d squared y ds squared so let's simplify it okay so we have y equal to s squared over 2 d squared y ds squared plus x will enter the bracket that's s dy ds minus s times this we have minus s squared d squared y ds squared s squared d squared y ds squared so I, I can simplify these terms that have d squared y ds squared okay so this is it y equal to if i factor out d squared y ds squared i'll have d squared y ds squared in brackets s squared over 2 minus s squared plus s dy dx all right so s squared over 2 minus s squared we produce minus x squared over 2 check s squared over 2 minus s squared by lcm we have s squared minus 2s squared all over 2 
So s squared minus 2s squared is minus s squared. And so everything is back here to now be we have this square y dx squared into minus s squared all over 2 plus x dy dx. So let's finish the multiplication. Y is now equal to minus s squared over 2 d square y dx squared plus what? x dy dx. Since this one is positive and this is negative, I can write the positive before the negative. So we can see y is equal to s dy dx, s dy dx minus s squared over 2 d square y dx squared, s squared upon 2 d squared y dx squared. This gives us the differential equation that is formed from this very equation. Alright, this is it. So let's form a differential equation for the last one y equal to a sine x plus b cos x. Alright, on to the third one. y equal to a sine x plus b cos x. So, there are two constants here, a and b. That means we will obtain the first and the second derivative with respect to x respectively of this very equation. So, dy dx, which is the first derivative of y with respect to x, we have a and b are constant. So differentiate sine x, we obtain cos s. a cos s. The derivative of cos s with respect to x, we have minus sine x. So we have minus b sine x. Okay, this is equation 1. This is equation 2. So we differentiate now, that is the second derivative of y with respect to x. d square y ds squared. Differentiate cos s with respect to x, we have minus sine x. So, minus sine x times a is minus a sine x. The derivative of sine x with respect to x is cos s. So, cos s times minus b, minus b cos s. Question 3. I want to factor out minus 1 from this right hand side. d square y ds squared is equal to minus 1 into a sine x this become plus b cos s what can you see a sine x plus b cos x is what we have here and is equal to what y so in place of a sine x plus b cos s we can write y so therefore d squared y ds squared is equal to minus y everything is y the differential equation that is formed from this very equation all right so this is how to form differential equations all right i hope you enjoyed the video keep supporting by subscribing to this channel and turn on notifications at this side to get updated whenever the videos come up in the future share this video to your friends and your classmates i'll see you in the next one